All right, I've got DaVinci Resolve 18 here open and I've got a bunch of project files that you can see. And I'm gonna be traveling, so I don't wanna take this computer with me. I wanna take a smaller laptop that I can use and I wanna transfer a bunch of these projects over to that new laptop. Okay, there's a couple ways that you can do this. The first one I'm gonna show you is pretty simple. Take the project that you wanna transfer. So in this case, I want to take my podcast that I work on. I select it, right click, and you've got different export options. So the, I'm gonna choose this one here, export project. Now what this is gonna do is it's going to export a DRP project file. Now keep in mind, this is going to export that file. It's not going to export any of the associated media. So I'll show you another method here later on, or you can just skip ahead if you want to include the associated media. And the reason being is a lot of the media I keep on an external hard drive. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna take that external hard drive with me, and I'm gonna transfer that over to the new computer. I've got like gigs and gigs of external media. It would just be too much to be moving from hard drive to hard drive, even though this does do a decent job of compressing it. So anyways, so this is the one I want to transfer. If you want to transfer more than one, that's no problem. You just do a control and click and notice I'm selecting two now, right click and export projects instead of project. So I'm just going to save these to my desktop. Now, as you can see on my desktop here, I've got both of those projects. So I could throw these on a flash drive to get them over to the new computer. I could put them on that external drive that I mentioned, or I can upload them into a cloud drive and transfer them that way. I'm over on the new computer now, and I've copied the DaVinci Resolve files to the desktop. And it doesn't matter, you can put them in a folder or if you want somewhere. So two ways that you can open it, double click on it and it's going to launch DaVinci Resolve. And as you can see, it's importing the project. But it imported the project without any of the project files because if you recall, I chose not to do that. I'm going to do it with my external hard drive. So in this case, what I'm going to need to do is just plug that external hard drive into my computer. why this launches, a key thing I want you to note is the drive path does need to be the same as it was on the old computer. So for example, all of my files on my external hard drive were mapped to the E drive. In this case, I've already remapped it to the same E drive. But if it doesn't, if it pops in and you notice that it's say D or F or whatever, you will need to remap it. And how you do that, just go to start menu and type in disk manager. And you'll get this option here, create and format hard disk partition. Open that and you'll find wherever the drive is currently mapped. Again, mine is already on E, but let's say it was on F and I need it to be on E. Right click on it, change drive letter path, change, choose the correct one for whatever it should be, hit OK, hit OK, and it will remap it to that correct drive. So as you can see, it did take a minute while we were talking there, but now it has connected to all of those files that are on that E drive. So that's how you do that if you want to keep all of your files on an external drive. If you've already got DaVinci Resolve running, if you go to your project manager, you've got this option here, import. So you can go import and I can just grab the other DaVinci Resolve project and open it. And there it is. So that's how you do it using that method. Okay, one more quick note on that is if you want, you can just send a project timeline versus the whole project. So in this case, I'm in the project and I'm selecting the timeline, the specific timeline, right clicking, I'm gonna go timelines, export, and I want the top option, which is the DRT, and that'll export that DRT file. So it's just sending just the timeline, not the whole project. So maybe I've just done a few updates on this timeline and I just wanna send that. Or maybe I created a new timeline within this project and I just wanna send that new timeline versus the whole project. Okay, now let's say you wanna do one 
and you actually do want to include all the associated media. You can do that, so if you don't want to transfer a hard drive back and forth or connect it to cloud storage, that's fine. Uh, there is a way to do this as well. So take the project that you want to transfer, select it, right click, and in this case, you actually want to choose this option, Export Project Archive. So click on that. Okay, it'll give you an option of naming and saving it. Notice it's got the DRA file type. So I'm just going to put mine on my desktop and select that. Hit save and you'll get another pop-up here. And what it's asking is what you want to transfer with it, right? So, all right, you've got two main options that you have to choose from, media files and proxy media. So what's the difference? Media files is going to be all those associated media files. Proxy media is going to be like the preview media and stuff like that. So the reason why you might want to do that is let's say you're just sending this over to somebody to look at or give you feedback on. You can choose proxy media and then that way when they open it, it's not going to install all of those media files. So it's not going to take up as much space. You do have to choose one. You can't not choose media or proxy media because the whole point of this option is to include those additional files. Render cache, uh, you can just choose to transfer it or not if you want. It doesn't really matter. Or of course you can do all of them. Okay, so in my case, I'm just gonna go proxy media for the sake of file size so this won't take too long. If you choose everything, it might take a while to actually do the export and transfer. So I've got a couple pop-ups here. This is because it's looking for those video files and it's noticing it's not finding them. And that's basically means that I deleted them at some point in time. So I'm gonna okay pass that because I know that the, it's not gonna find those files, that's fine. So I've got a folder here. If I go into the folder, it looks like I've got my media files and my project file. That's great, that's what I want. Okay, this time around, I'm not gonna actually jump over to the other computer, but uh, this is the exact same method you would do to get the project into the new computer. Right click, restore project archive. So I'm gonna go to my project archive. I just wanna click the folder. You don't need to drill down into the folder and select anything within the folder. Just select the folder itself, hit open. Now I've got the project, you can double click on it. So there we go, you can see it brought everything in that I needed for it. Uh, so that way I could make changes and then send it back to the other computer if I need to. So that's two ways that you can transfer your DaVinci Resolve projects from one computer to another computer.